Well, that just happened. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Nick Hill with Shelf Esteem. I'm a composer, now also a booktuber. You can find my music in The Wheel of Time Season 2, His Dark Material Season 3, and the newly released psychological horror film, Dead Whisper. Now, today is a momentous day, and I had to interrupt the regularly scheduled programming to film this video because this is one of the many reasons why I absolutely love our booktube community. I personally think it's the best community on YouTube, and it's in no small part due to the people, you know? Um, I've gotten great book recommendations from you all, and it's also given me a chance to connect with amazing authors. And today is none, no exception to that rule, because... You know, I had been watching Joanna Reed's, I, I watched Philip Chase's channel, and they'd always talked about Jannie Wirtz, and I kept hearing her name over and over again. And, you know, it's like you start hearing things, I, I'd mentioned this in a previous video, but you hear things over and over again, like in succession, you kind of feel like, oh, maybe that's the universe's sign, I should check this author out, and, and, and everything. And so, I checked out the first, uh, the standalone book that she had written, To Ride Hell's Chasm which I absolutely loved. And so I was thinking about digging into the Wars of Light and Shadow. <clears throat> and I'd made a video talking about that and kind of my 2025 read-along plans, which I'm linking up here in case you want to check it out. But the purpose of this video is to really thank Jenny because she reached out to me after she saw a couple of my mentions of To Ride Hell's Chasm and, you know, just reached out to me on Twitter. And she's just super lovely lady. And she was kind of telling me more about the Wars of Light and Shadow series. And the more she told me about it, the more it whet my appetite for it. And I'm like, I can't wait to read this. And so we got to talking and she was like, hey, oh, you're a composer. You know, I and this is the synchronicity of the universe thing, you know, um, which I really believe in. Like she's talking to me and she's like, oh, you know, you're a composer. I, I have a nephew who works in L.A. Um, he works for Hans Zimmer's company. I, I don't know if you know him. Turns out we had both worked together very closely on the Wheel of Time season two for two years. And he was like one of my favorite people on the team. And we like chatted all the time and stuff. How did I like I would have never guessed that, you know, his aunt is a world famous fantasy author. You know, I mean, like, come on, like the, what what are the odds of that happening? So just synchronicity after synchronicity. And we just got along so well. And and she kindly asked me if I would like some books. And I had to think about it for maybe 0.25 seconds before I was like, hell yeah. Are you kidding me? It's amazing. And so that was the purpose of this video is to just thank Jenny from the bottom of my heart for reaching out to me and for just being such a wonderful person to talk to um, on Twitter and just for offering to send me books. And I figured what better way to thank her than to do an unboxing and basically um, just kind of show you what, what's in this box because it's a doozy. So let's dive right in. I'm going to like cut this part of the video so you're not watching me do this for 10 minutes. <laughs> All right. I'm making my way through this box. It was really well packed, which was kind of great. Um, so Jenny Wirtz sent me a bunch of her Wars, and Light, Wars of Light and Shadow series. If you don't know, it's an 11 book series, which she re recently completed. It's her magnum opus. So I was very excited to read this and I cannot believe that she sent me so many of this series. So I'm going to unwrap these one by one and show it to the camera so you can kind of see what these look like and everything. But I'm just so excited. This is so insane. This is so incredible. Even my cat is excited. She's uh, running around over there. Oh my god. This is so cool. So this is one of them. Traders Knot. I don't know if you can see that with the... There we go. That's a lot better. Traders not. I think this is book seven, if I remember correctly. Um, I have to double check. I'm not as well versed in the series just yet, but I think it is book seven. Yeah, cool. Wow, nice, beautiful cover. So she illustrated her covers, which is kind of amazing. So um, multi-talented author here. Oh man, I'm so excited. Oh my god, these are hardbacks. Holy crap. Whew. Okay. Book one, Curse of the Mist Wraith. Look at that cover. Come on. Doesn't that make you want to read it? I am so freaking excited about this. I'm going to read uh, the inside flap for you as well. Um, oh, that's so sweet. Okay, I got to read this note afterwards. Um, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna read this little inside flap for you, so you can kind of get an idea on the series and kind of what the first book says in the inside flap. So, it began with a mystery that smothered all the world in fog and dampness, and followed with a war that upended order and overthrew the rule of the high kings. After five long centuries, animosity still runs deep, and even the memory of sunlight has been forgotten in the land of Athera. Only the words of a drunken seer offer hope that the mistrath might be defeated, that the train of hatreds and ills it has inflicted across Ithera might one day be set to rights. The mad prophet Dakar's augury foretold that a gifted descendant of the old kings would arrive through the gate between worlds, bringing back the means to heal the lands. But upon the prophecy's fulfillment, the fellowship sorcerer Asandir finds that the power to subdue the mistrath is split between two princes, half-brothers, strangers to each other, opposites in outlook and upbringing. Only by working together can they restore Athera's lost sunlight, and they are enemies, heirs to a blood feud generations old. Arathon, born musician and the mad mage-trained son of a pirate king, was master of shadows, able to weave darkness to his will. But an incompatible sensitivity and the responsibilities of Grand Conjury have already hounded him to bitterness. Lysir, raised to privilege as a crown prince, is endowed with the powers of light, but unschooled in the deeper mysteries. He is charismatic and single-minded, a ruler sworn to see justice done by the sword if need be. Thrown together in a world not their own, driven apart by distrust and opposing convictions amid factions already poised for violence, the half-brothers must master their inborn enmity and meld their powers into a unified force. Should they fail, the mistrath shall ensnare them in strife and bloodshed for its own ends. Here begins an odyssey of the spirit in which no single character will emerge unchanged. I mean, that sounds incredible. That's like right up my alley. I love slow burn fantasy. I love multiple POVs where... As you start to see a story slowly unfold, you start to realize not all is all what it seems, you know. Um, and this is definitely a series I want to read. I'd mentioned I put this on a, you know, read along poll, which I'm also linking down below in case you want to vote. But whether this wins it or not, I'm going to be reading this absolutely next year. And I'll probably do like a soft read along. I have a discord as well, which I'm linking down below. And, um, you know, I'll probably make a thread for this. So if anyone wants to join in on a, at least a soft read along, um, I'm going to be doing these like one a month or something like that. So we'll figure out something for that. But this is just gorgeous. I just can't get over these covers. Look at that. Beautiful. So this is the first book here. This one. Oh, right. So I believe this is books two and three, which is how it was published in the American pressing. And this is Ships of Mariar. Look at that. Woo, beautiful. Oh, man, this is so cool. Um, then we have The Fugitive Prince. Fugitive Prince. Wait, there's more. I just can't believe this. This is, like, unbelievable. There is Grand Conspiracy. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful artwork. I just love, I love this kind of classic looking artwork. Like it, it just makes me so happy to see on books. I miss it actually, you know. Um, oh, I love this artwork. Look at this, Peril's Gate. I believe uh, Joanna from Joanna Reads and Philip Chase just finished this one. They'd done like a discussion as well on it. Um, in case you're further along in the series and want to check it out. Okay, guys, I had to do a quick cut in because after I filmed this video, I ended up reading the wonderful note that Jenny left me. And I didn't realize I missed one of the key components of this wonderful package that she sent. And that is, I just, I, I just don't even know what to say. Like, I'm like, there's moments that leave you speechless. But she, she sent me a really beautiful bookmark, first of all. She sent me a reading guide for Wars of Light and Shadow. Look at that. So you can kind of get in the sense of the series, where it's going, and how best to attach uh, attack the arcs, because you know they're different sub series kind of sub sub series kind of arcs and things like that. So this is amazing. And last but definitely not least, I just I don't know. I, I, I I'm gonna just keep saying I don't know what to say at, at some points. But she went through every book, every book, 
and signed it. And not only signed it, but added to her favorite quotes from each book. I don't know if you could see that really well. I just had to show you that. Look at that. I mean, this is like unreal. This is like too unreal. Like... I'm, I'm just, I'm floored. I, I really just don't know what to say anymore. I'm just so grateful that she would be so kind to do this. You know, when she said she was going to send me some books, I was just like grateful that she even reached out at all. And the fact that she went through this much care, I'm like, oh, you better believe I'm reading this whole series. <laughs> this is right up my alley. Um, anyways, you know, and so I just had to show you that quick insert to show you just yet another one of the amazing things that is included in this package. So I just want to thank you so much, Jenny, for, you know, for reaching out to me and for just being such a wonderful person to talk to. I've been enjoying getting to know you and um, I really just appreciate you sending me this. And, um, and I, I, I reached out to her nephew afterwards and mentioned the connection. He was like blown away too. So it's just, it just makes me happy, warms my heart. That is the power of, you know, the internet and YouTube and the good that it can really bring is to bring people together out of shared love of our favorite hobbies and passions. So with that, I'm Nick Hill with Shelf Esteem. Um, please like and subscribe if you like this kind of video and stuff. And I just wanted to make it a special video for Jenny and just thank her from the bottom of my heart for being so gracious and for sending these books. And if you're interested in the Wars of Light and Shadow, I'm also linking those down in the description. So you can check them out, find out if the series is for you. And if you'd like to read along, definitely let me know. Um, feel free to, you know, send me an email, uh, write it in the comments, um, or vote on that poll. And I will be seeing you very shortly with some more videos as we plan 2025. So as I always say, be good to yourselves, be good to each other, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.